Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Cool Ninja Guy, and today I'm bringing you my second ever um, Sony Vegas Pro 11 tutorial. Uh, this will be more the basics of the timeline, which is down here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys basically how you can make a top five plays or top ten plays or whatever. So uh, first, I'm always going to grab my intro, so the Cool Ninja Guy's intro, and drag it in there. And so I have that. I clicked on it, automatically popped up. But it's on the uh, timeline now. So if what I want to do is I want to start it out, uh, I have these files. I made them myself. You guys, I'll link the video where you can download them for free in the description. So look at right now. Uh, I'll just drag and see. It'll say top five plays. So if I hit play, it'll fly in. And uh, the event pan crop you'll see is a little messed up. There's a little black bar on the top. So I'm gonna hit the event pan crop button right here. And this will pop up. I think I have a preset called countdown. Yes, top 10. See, so there's my preset. Uh, what I did, I hit, I need to um, right click these clips, hit properties, disable maintain aspect ratio. And I'm going to disable resample just because that's a, something you should do in all your clips. It reduces ghosting. And now, if you'll see, I play that through, it says top five plays. And so, what I'm going to do, if, if it's a five plays, I'm just going to drag in my five, my four, my three, my two. My ones, uh, yeah, there's five, four, three, two, one. And see all these? So I'm um, ho hold on control and click each one of them. So now I have all these. I think I can go to switches and click maintain aspect ratio. And then click right click it again, go to switches and disable resample. So now they all, uh, so I can hit event pan crop, scroll down to top 10, and then I can fix it for all of them. I already fixed it for number five, so I gotta fix it for number four here. Uh, top ten, I have a lot of different event pan crops uh, settings that I use in a lot of my videos. Uh, but I see, I accidentally click on his attempts, his ones for his clips. Uh, so then I got number three, and I'm gonna go to number two. So um, I guess if you will be doing this for the files, I guess there will be a little black bar on the top. So if you have Vegas, you can uh, fix that. So now you'll see what I. I swear to God, I just fixed that. She oh, wait a minute. Damn it. All right, I was click. What I was doing is I was clicking in the middle of the clip, and as you see, there's keyframes. So all the way up until then, it slowly slides down. After the keyframe, it stays consistent. So I'm just going to drag that all the way to the front. And now it's not working, so I have to go back and select top 10 for all these, which I apologize for my, uh, my mistake here. But I'm just going to do this really quick. So yeah, make sure you're at the front of the clip and then top 10. You can always uh, tweak any of these to your event pan crop of your liking. Um, that's one very helpful tip I like to use in Sony Vegas. Uh, so now see, so if I hit play, I say boom, top five plays, and say you know it will have it go top five plays, and it'll say number or number five here. And then if I want to just drag in a random clip of mine, let's say uh, I'm just gonna go clips to edit. Go to T uh, not not T News. Let's go to V Tremors clips because this guy is a beast. <laughs> uh, other clips. Uh, all right. So his top five. So the fifth one would just be the Quad C4, and so I'll drag it in there. And now if I hit play, see you'll see it will go to the clip. Boom, Quad C4, and that's it. Then he gets blown up. But so no, I commentate over that, and then it goes right to number four. Um, so that's the basics really of this. Uh, Timeline, you just drag and drop things to your liking. Um, if, say, if I had this right now and I want to add a basic color correction, um, what I showed you guys last time, if you haven't seen that video, right click, go to video event effects, your plugin chains will pop up. You might be under Sony or something, so you go, go to filter packages and you will have your own. You probably won't have any for uh, if you haven't uh, created any yet so go watch my first tutorial where I show you guys how to do this so if I want no color correction just contrast which I named that myself so I'll have to add and OK and now you'll see there's a little bit of a color correction on the clip and so then it'll be number four and I can just you know repeat this for anything I'll just keep putting these in there number three um, he has 50 triple and he has a cheeky little no scope at the end the number two I'll just drag in, you know what, let's drag in sniper, quarter more feeds, uh, split feed, because I mean, he's got some really, really good feeds. And now if you see, this clip is actually on the middle of it, so if I play it, it's right over it. So, but it just, the sound is so good. So I'll drag it to the end. So, yeah, you'll see this clip will finish, and this is a very, very nice clip uh, by Tremor. 
and so then it'll go straight to the number one clip and that'll be kind of be the basis if you want to record your own commentary what I do is I actually use my uh, iPods and stuff uh, I actually drop my iPod in the water uh, I'm using my mother's iPod it's just sitting right here and then at home so uh, I'm doing this really quick and this is the basic thing if you want these templates and if you want them uh, customized for your liking send me a message or leave me a comment here I prefer messages I can keep track of it um, just and just ask me about this. I did one for the Bolo clan, or I'll show it to you guys really quick. Uh, it's the Cool Ninja guys content files. See, when you download it, you'll download the zip file, which doesn't show up here. But see, there's the Bolo clan one. It's in red. I can tweak it. I can tweak colors. I can tweak whatever it says to your liking. Um, that's about it uh, for this tutorial. I'm trying to think of anything else I can add. Um, uh, let's just add color correction to the rest of these. So event effects, no CC, just contrast. Add OK, and that will look good. Um, I like a little, little bit of a contrast just for the uh, sake of um, how, what, I don't even know what to call it. So aesthetic purposes, just it looks better with the color correction, in my opinion. Um, I have more of a montage cinematic uh, color correction, so you just gotta trip for a little bit of a blur on the edges, and, uh, a little bit of uh, more. A little lighter gameplay, which looks nice, but um, um, you can do many different color corrections. If you just go to video effects and the color corrector, there's all these uh, color corrections and the secondary color corrector, which I don't use too much. But I just use basic color corrector, color curves, and soft contrast for my uh, color correction. So uh, that's really it. Um, I think next episode I'll show you guys how to use Twixter, which I actually don't have on here right now. Um, I'll have to reinstall Twixter. Uh, Twixter, if you didn't know, it makes a really, really good sexy slow-mo. Uh, it kind of blurs it a little bit. I haven't had too much experience with Twixter, but I use Twixter Pro. Uh, it goes a little faster than regular Twixter. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Oh, and another thing. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, I'll, I have my new uh, watermark. So I'll actually put that in. So I right-clicked here and put insert video track. You can also right click on this thing and hit insert video track. And now I'll go to my explorer. It looks kind of cool to see for. Um, scroll down to Photoshop files where I have my files. The Cool Ninja Guy logo, which is my watermark, I will drag this in and then I will drag it to the end. So now if you see, it will say right there, facebook.com slash cool ninja guy, twitter.com slash the cool ninja guy, and then tkng, the cool ninja guy, and then youtube.com slash vx ninja. Um, so that's how you put other layers in with a watermark, which is what I'm doing. So uh, you see the watermark on this uh, video. So thank you guys for watching. Um, this is a little shorter tutorial. If you guys have a question on any um, aspect of an edit you ever see, like maybe a custom transition, which I might do a tutorial on later, anything After Effects, Vegas. Uh, I've been trying some motion tracking. I'll try to do a tutorial once I get that more down, uh, more efficient in my opinion. So uh, thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy. Um, uh, yeah, so I guess this is it. So it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed and see you guys later.